there's a rumor that Damon Thunham actually is having a secret marriage or marriage plans, or he has even already wedded someone, but we we don't know yet. It is very, very private, but the thing is that Damon is seeing someone from Rwanda. It is alleged. So, Damon Thunham's secret marriage. And, of course, in this very story, we shall talk a little bit about size 8 and how they are trying to work on their marriage. Marriage, marriage. They, <laughs> some of us who have not yet entered marriage, they make it seem like marriage is so hard. Eh? There's always, always a problem. There's a video that is trending on TikTok which says, no boyfriend, no problems. So it's like 99% of our problems come from this male species. Like... There's always something. They're always not doing something right. Either someone is not flushing the toilet or there is another random girl calling you about your boyfriend or he's coming back home with lipstick on his clothes or he's coming back wearing a scent that you don't know or you prepare lunch or dinner for him and then he comes back when he doesn't want to eat or his parents or sister, your sisters-in-laws are giving you a headache. Oh, there is a complaint in office about him sleeping around and mistreating some kind of... There's always problems, you guys, about guys, about men. No wonder so many girls lately are, ten, are turning around to be lesbians. It is crazy. I'm not supporting it, but that is what the statistics are showing. People are so fed up. Men come with a lot of issues, with a lot of problems. Anyway, that is the story. The story is that he may have had a secret marriage or is planning to have one. Word on the street is that Tanzanian hit musician Diamond Plenum was to get married to his rumored girlfriend from Rwanda as dowry negotiations have been ongoing since his sister's wedding back in August. Ever since August, he's been in talks with this girl. But Rwanda is not very easy to marry from there. As long as you're not from Rwanda, you getting their girl. Oh my God. You have to have game. Like their parents of the girl child in Rwanda don't just give away their girls anyhow. I love the way they try to preserve their culture. They have tried. That is why even Kagame closed the borders when he found out that the girl child was coming here in other places in East Africa like Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and maybe try to indulge into adulterous things or immorality or dirty videos or sex tapes. Man, the president was like, I'm locking you all down. The girls can't go anywhere. It's been almost a year now. Is it eight months? It started last year in around um, July. So you can imagine, it's it's <laughs> it's more than a year. They can't go anywhere. So it's not easy. I don't know whether Diamond is going to succeed, but what you should know is that he's having plans of marrying from Rwanda. Now, given his recent divorce to Kenyan musician uh, Tanasha Dona, the Tanzanian musician has kept his dating life under wraps. He doesn't show anyone on social media. Even the last picture of a certain uh, model he posted, he took it off. At the moment, Damon, but if you missed that picture, I'm coming back with the story. I want you to see it for yourselves and, uh, yeah, have a laugh. At uh, the moment, Damon Planham has been spending his time campaigning for Tanzanian president. His Excellency, I adore this guy, John Pombe Magufuli. Very strict guy. He reminds me of a means regime in Uganda. No, 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 I'm not that old, guys. I've, I've just read about my history. I know my history. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I know he was a no-sense guy. Like, if you are corrupt there and then a bullet in your head, you're gone. Now, Magufuli may not be doing the bullets, but the way he... he uh, what, what's the word? The way he sucks his cabinet ministers is very, very alarming. The way he forces people to do uh, community service, going to clean hospitals, cleaning roads, that's a president I would like to have. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking of getting married to someone in Tanzania so that I automatically become Tanzanian. Ha! <laughs> I should become Tanzanian already because their president is doing a good job. Now, more information with regards to the marriage arrangement will be known once the campaigns are over. But for now, that is what he's uh, keeping himself busy with. He's the king of East Africa. He can marry from wherever he wants. But, trust you me, Rwanda. 
is not a place that you can easily pick a bride from. Moving on, let me get into the story of size eight rumor. Uh, uh, has its oh, we have gotten information that musician size eight and husband DJ Mo may be going through marriage counseling after the husband had been caught pants down. The musician has vowed to stay, fight, and work on their marriage. See, isn't that what marriage is about? For better, for worse. When you're having the good times, you stay. When you're having the bad times, you stay. She's setting a good example for women who are patient. Yeah, if you can stand such stupidity, then marriage is for you. Uh, <laughs> it is serious. On the other news from the coastal region, musician Nyota Ndogo will be releasing a new music video and surprise her new Dutch husband. <laughs> the Dutch husband will be featured in the music video playing the part of love interest. We can only hope this new music gets her back on top of the charts because for some time now she seemed like a one-hit wonder. Like you do one big song and then you just go silent. For everyone else who's going through a situation they cannot talk about, I send you hugs, love, blessings. May the good Lord bless you with a miracle this week. My name is Juliana. I sign out. It's the East Africa Social Television. Please do subscribe. Share these videos with your friends. Be active in the comment section. Have fun with the news that we always share on the East Africa Social Television.